What, what does that world look like? You mentioned these, this world of uh, financiers, this rotating group of people that come and they go. Uh, how do you end up getting to know these people? How do you know who to call and who to reach out to and who to take out for drinks? I, well, you do kiss a lot of frogs, um, and I don't mind. Um, I have a couple of warts, which I won't show you. Oh, um, wow, okay. <laughs> not really, it's a joke. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry. Uh, my wife and daughters. Um, you know, here's what I'd say. When you are in the legitimate business of packaging and financing movies, and you're in Cannes, and you're in Toronto, and you're in Sundance, and you're in Berlin, you kind of know who's real and who isn't. Mm. Most of the time, within five minutes on a phone call, I can tell if someone's fake. Mm -hmm. And then the first thing I'll say to them is fine, put money in escrow, and I know it's real. And then I never hear from them ever again, mm -hmm. right? But there are a lot of really smart financiers and who understand when I say a movie is, a, is this glass and that's all it is, and they understand it. And what that really means, and this is what I try to help with investors who are new, or filmmakers who are new, or actors who are new, is so you're making a widget, and the widget has a value. And the job to understand the value is, and I could define this by movies, any movie you want to make based upon the genre of the film, who's in it, who's the director, I can already tell you the value of the movie in every territory outside of the United States. Plus or minus 10%, right? Safest movies outside of the United States, action films, thrillers, romantic comedies, love stories, no period, no drama, okay? So if you said, I have this really cool thriller, and I have this director, and I can look at the director's credits and see if he or she have had any success. As an example, David Schwimmer was gonna direct this movie. Everybody knows David as a comedian and a comedy director, but he wanted to direct a really powerful movie about um, a girl who gets, meets someone online who thinks she's his age and ends up getting raped. Really important film about sexual predators on the internet not exactly what people think of David Schwimmer for. And so, but David made a movie prior. So what I did was I looked at who distributed his movie in other territories, because it made money. And so I called every buyer in each territory, England, France, Germany, Latin America, Spain, who bought his movie, who made money, and I said, you're buying David's next movie. And they all said yes, right? So that's a piece of business. So a movie has a value. You make an action film for $10 million with any one of five actors in this part and this part, I can tell you in advance what it's worth. The one market I can't tell you what it's worth is the US, because the US market is all about execution. They will not pre-buy unless it's executed. Or if they're gonna pre-buy, they're gonna pre-buy at a discount. So smart investors know a movie is just like a real estate deal. If I build a building, before I can get my bank loan, I have to pre-sell units in my building. I have to get insurance for my building. So a bank will lend me money to build this building when I've leased it by 70%. I can take a movie and do 60 to 70% pre-sales combined with a tax credit anywhere and know that to fund a, a $10 million movie, I only need two to $3 million. And so what I always teach investors and filmmakers is, here's your genre, this is the value, you think it's more, tell me why. And if it is, we'll go figure it out. But I can tell you by actor, by genre, by director, by producer, based upon who they are, what I, can, what I can engineer the value of that movie to be. And sadly, it is engineering. Mm. It's called reverse engineering, and every lit agent and every actor and director hates hearing it, but there's the business of making movies.